know, I keep pointing out things that are much better in this version than the console version, but this game, they clearly were not thinking about the volume of the beginning of the song compared to the end of the song, and it loops horribly because of it. Drift, 2,000 points, okay. Hit a point with a weapon in Volcano Tunnel. Okay. I need to identify the Volcano Tunnel first. Actually, I think I know what it is. It's the place at the beginning, probably. So that should be easy. We might be able to knock that out at the very beginning, actually. We'll see. Anyways, I love how quick the progress is being on this game. Short and sweet. That's how this game seems to be. Launch. Who says launch? It's not a rocket, it's a car. Let's actually pick up a weapon here. Because I want to use a weapon on that guy in the volcano tunnel right there. I appreciate sure that's a volcano tunnel. Let's not miss anything this time. There we go. I I think I should be able to. I did not actually. Okay, well never mind. But it was worth a shot. So I wanna oh, follow somebody right there. Okay, so drifting. Okay. It's a goal on. So now we just need to catch up to everybody. And things go from there. It shouldn't be too hard, considering that we have some ways of getting ahead of everybody, cutting corners and whatnot. Or actually, I didn't expect that to hit the ground right next to him. Okay. Now, just need to catch up even more. So basically we need to be next to somebody though, by the time we get to that tunnel. Hey demon. Oh no! Goodbye demon. I made him fall off the loop. I saw him on the mini-map. Actually I saw him right afterwards too. He reappeared elsewhere. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, because that one guy is up ahead of me. So hitting somebody in this tunnel is actually gonna be really tough. Unless I do another lap, I'll have to see. Once I get to the fifth person, I'll have to see if I have time to wait to keep following them until they get to that part. That's probably not going to be the case. So I'm not sure. But I have always to go to catch up to this guy anyway, so I'm not sure. But I have a few ways to catch up to him too. I do love that one shortcut there. It's nice. It's simple. It's straightforward. It's not anything fancy. But it's a really good way to cut corners and save some time. I just really hope you'll be able to catch up this one guy by the time we get to the tunnel. Because if I do, we should be able to get a hit on him in the tunnel. Okay. Okay, so instead of doing what we did to Demon... We'll hold off just a minute here. And now... Stay on his tail. Yep. Goal 2. Done. The game didn't say anything on the top screen, but they gave me credit on the bottom, so I'm good. Alright. Now to T-Rex. Last place. This place had some peculiar music. I don't mind it too much, though. Points and draft. And they're not making these goals any harder, which is a little weird, but I, again, that means I don't have to worry too much about them. But it's probably for the better overall. I do find interesting this game actually tells you which cars are locked if you decide to hover over them in the menu. Unlike Conservation, which just gives you a study of the car. It's actually pretty tough to tell who is what. Anyways, so is this place going to be much like the console version? Every other place has been for the most part, so I'm guessing so. Again, like, they don't have really, like, the orange color scheme. Almost everything except for the nighttime areas had a really orange color scheme in the console version. I don't know why. So who's this dude, though? Whoa, what's happening here? I didn't get any kind of touch on bonus at all that time. Go away. Goodbye. Actually, I'll go away for you. Make it easy on you. Ah. I need to look for having... Whoa, that's not how... Oh, whoa! It's 
interesting. That's not how I expect that to happen. <laughs> Why didn't they make that out of bounds area? <laughs> That's interesting. I, I would like to explore that area, but it's not really where I needed to be. Oh man, we have multiple options now. It's interesting. It's very interesting. I did not expect that. Seems like the way I went was a faster way, though, I guess. If I have to take a shortcut later to, for an objective, I guess I'll try to make sure I take that route. I kind of want to take the other just to see what it's like. But, yeah, I should have time. I'm pretty happy with everyone. There's no... Yeah, there's one person leading the pack this time. If there's one person leading the pack, there's no risk of that one person catching up, as we've seen before. So there's not one ring, like, halfway up the loop. Anyways, though. There's no corkscrew in this one, though. For better or worse, I found the corkscrew kind of fun and entertaining, but at the same time, of course, falling off was the worst thing, so... Yeah, so let's try not to fall off in this part, though. I don't know why. <laughs> it was kind of funny how I bounced off. I don't know why I don't have anything. that makes you reset on Mac if you fall down there. Seems a little weird that they don't. So, okay, was, which way is the better way here? Well, this is the way that doesn't match with the, uh... This is the way that my opponent's going. The guy behind me. But it also seems slower. I feel like. And it, But at the same time, it's not what's shown on the map. Like, everybody else goes that way, too. But it's not shown on the map. The way it's shown on the map is the quicker way that seems like a shortcut. That's a scenic route, though. It's really, really weird. So I guess I'll take the left route in, the other, in every other case. It's really strange what they did there. Also, why are you right, right behind me? I don't appreciate this at all. Let's get ahead. Hey, stop that. No, no, no. No power-ups for you. Nothing like that. If you want to bounce off. Okay. And left route this time. Which seems faster! Shoo! Right in the rail. That was like a proper grind or something like that. That's a new kind of trick. <laughs> You're not going to see that in Snowtrack Challenge. Yeah, and I'm way, way ahead of the dude. I'm probably was that I was boosting the whole time. For quite a while. Supercharged boost. Awesome. But at the same time, like, that's a really, really fast route. I'm pretty sure. Just read that it's the one that's not cost by the shortcut, apparently, based off the map. But everybody else takes the other one. Five points of weapons, man. It would be harder not to score three round points with one stun alone, though. I think that's only an uh, objective. Like, it would be interesting to try to play through this game without actually completing any objectives. Because some of them are too easy to get. Like, some of them would be hard to not get. Like, right here, I I'd have to actively avoid trying to drift this dude. Right now, draft, I mean. Because otherwise, oh, I do it. Without any actual attempt to do it in any capacity. Anyways, today I need to be pretty aggressive. Combat training. I'll also race this time. Uh, that would have actually worked. Whoa! We're losing grit. That has put oil stick on the loop or something like that. Just make it drop down and then still fall back on the track. Also, does the skybox mess up when I go around that loop? It feels like it does. It's probably a pretty good place to put that. So the thing is, I'm gonna have to stay behind a little bit for the moment to get power ups and attack these guys. I'm not going to jump ahead jump ahead in first just yet. Which is a little, it's a little risky though, because this is Eliminator. So I don't want to risk falling behind. Although if I could just get supercharged rockets, I'd be, I'd be pretty much set for a while. Da! 
Didn't manage to land a hit with that. Too many rockets. All I need is one guy in rockets. I think I've only gotten one hit though so far. No, I hope we got two because because uh, I really hit somebody with a mine. Ah, I want to get that power up, but it won't let me. That, what have you done to me? You've turned me around. That's what you've done. And there's not really much one can do to recover from that. So, I believe I still get to complete the objective if I do this. Yeah. So, I'll do that again. Wait, did it say I got everything? Did it say I got the objective? I didn't think I'd done that. Yeah, but man, look, look at the things that that is doing to this world. <laughs> like, it's messing with the respawn mechanics, even. But, like, use up. What even happened there? Like, what, what, what was the gravity doing? It was doing something wrong. Like, I was all over in so many places. My nut says I have nothing done. Do I need to actually get all of them in one go? Like, in one try? Oh, I hope not. I can try to give them again. I don't know if that's gonna count. But it said that I. It looked like it said that I got another objective, which I didn't expect at all. Who are you? You're totally 16 angels. Why are 16 angels here? You're not supposed to be here yet. Dude, like, why are these guys coming in out of order and all that? It's that, man. That's. That's just messing everything up. Of course, 60 Angels, no one knows what, they, what the Golden Quattro adds up to, so we can't really make any assumptions about them. But, unless that's not even 60 Angels and it's just that messing with our perceptions, which is also totally possible. Oh, hey, Damon. Now, let's just hang behind for a little bit. Hit race cam. Okay. Now, any power-ups that would serve us well for this sort of thing? Not boost right now. No, that's one hit. No. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes, see, whenever I look at the map in the bottom screen, I look first at where people are on the track instead of, like, the west people on the left side. So it makes you think, oh man, there are only two people left or something like that. In fact, there are more, because they're just, like, right on top of each other on the map. Dude, what's your deal? There you go. Okay, see you, demon. Okay. If I can get a speed boost, then all the better. Oh, so who knows? Maybe Six Angels is just popping in and checking things out. Or maybe it's not there at all. It's horrendous. The psychological warfare brought on by that is the worst. Also, yeah, the skybox does move does move as I go through that loop. Which means that sometimes I can see, like, below the clouds. And other times, I just notice the clouds are rotating around me, which is really strange. But man, this has turned into a game of not knowing what's where and what's what. Questioning the nature of reality and our own memories and our own perceptions. That is truly the worst kind of enemy. Because you don't even know who your enemy is or where or when. It's a very big undertaking we've taken upon ourselves being that. Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys next time. So let's play Hot Wheels Beat That where we do a quick rampage and then tournament. So I'll probably finish off the second th third of the game pretty quickly. And man, it seems going to be done in less than three recording sessions. It's awesome. <laughs> And then move on to other things. I'm really, really looking forward to the next game after this, actually. So, it's really nice. In any case, see you then, guys.